All right guys, so I have a bit of a quickie here today and it's a little bit of a different kind of video than I usually do. Usually when I do talking content, it is either a video essay or a guide, but today I wanna to give a bit of news actually because this is honestly so ridiculous and goofy that not only is this happening, but it is still a topic of discussion that I honestly couldn't help myself. So as some of you may be aware of, is that Roblox has recently banned the use of wine clients from playing online. I know this may come as a shock to some of you, but as for one, I don't really care for Roblox as a platform and otherwise would never cover it. But the thing is, the reasons they are banning its use is so arbitrary that I honestly could categorize it as malicious. So here's the deal. Roblox is no longer allowing wine clients to connect to their servers for a very specific reason. A reason so minuscule, so tiny, that it honestly strikes me as something with an ulterior motive which I will touch on in a minute. Now for the reason why it is banned, can you guess it? Anti-cheat? Roblox doesn't really have one. Like, the anti-cheat they have in the game is not like an actual anti-cheat. Something break due to an update? Nope. The reason that wine is not being allowed to connect because of, get this, bug reports. Apparently, Roblox is not allowing Wine clients to connect because it makes troubleshooting easier and the typical security and compatibility reasons. I'll let that sink in for a second. Roblox is not letting users connect because it makes troubleshooting easier, which can be a valid reason, but I will drop the receipts on why this isn't the case here in a second. And security and compatibility reasons, which I will explain why that isn't a concern either and likely even less of a concern on Wine. Alright, so for the part where they said it makes troubleshooting easier, they're referring to the quote-unquote fact that Wine can sometimes have issues that either wouldn't occur on Windows or be far less pronounced, which can be a thing, and I have witnessed it myself many times over the years. However, the reasoning they give for this is total bullshit. They tried to say that they cannot distinguish between the two, and that it makes it harder for them to determine that if it is a bug worth fixing, which I am showing here is totally not the case as the report here says wine 32 a client running on supported quote-unquote operating systems would not say this and unless they cannot filter bug reports which in which case you should really add that feature to your support software this should not be a problem at all onto the second part they say security and compatibility but the thing is and this breaks off in two ways wine is not native linux look at the end of the day, if you are running something in Wine, you're not running that natively. You are running that Wine in essentially Windows mode, which means for the most part is indistinguishable from baseline Windows, save for some libraries sometimes not being the same, and the fact that you're not running a Windows kernel. If it interacts with the operating system functionally the same way, but it translates API calls back and forth so that the program and the operating system can talk to each other in a language they both can understand. Linux, especially with software as old as Roblox, tends to have better support for legacy programs and even modern day Windows, thanks to the ability to comp compartmentalize with prefixes, which if you don't know are basically like fake Windows root drives. You pretty much cannot do anything with Wine that you wouldn't do with Windows, and in fact, running software that would compromise security would actually be harder to do in Wine than in base Windows because of all the workarounds and setup that you would have to do to potentially end up with a broken prefix. You could actually migrate, believe it or not, you could migrate your Windows install to Wine and run your Windows software in Wine so long as it has, you know, uh, good functionality with it because some programs are just not going to work, unfortunately. Now, I know that you're thinking, you're about to say, well, why is this a problem? Why don't they just use a VM? Well, guess what? Do I even have to say it? You can probably read my facial expression to a screen as I say this. They banned VMs as well. I can understand banning VMs because they can allow for exploits that would not be possible in a bare metal system, but here's the deal, right? Why are they doing this just now as if they are actively banning Linux users? It makes no sense unless you see it from this angle I'm about to give you right here. Roblox is a free-to-play service, and while there are many who indulge in its paid fanfare, at the end of the day, they have to make money off the majority of its fan base, who likely does not pay. I'm embarrassed to admit that when I was very young, I used to play Roblox, but I am proud to admit that they have never made a single cent off my ass. 
How do they make money off of players like this? Data collection. The thing is, Linux and Wine are very good in being able to prevent something like this from happening. And cutting Linux users out of the equation means they can only be played on bare metal systems. And this is true even with the VM environment. Even if you're not running something like Windows AME in your VM, the amount of data collection that occurs in your gaming VM is likely very small because let's face it, most of the time when a Linux user is in a gaming VM, they are just playing games, and that means that there is very little data to collect about your system. Like what? Like they see you play a couple games, that's it. Especially if it's essentially sandbox from your Linux install, which in itself would contain very little data for them to scrape. Look guys, I don't care for Roblox to begin with. I stopped playing a long time ago when they got rid of ticks, which was already tipped me off that they're trying to maximize profits in exchange for a worse experience. I mean, hell, you log in and get like 10 ticks a day. That is literally 180th a dollar. I remember the conversion rate because if you go off of 800 Robux for 10 bucks, that's like an 80th a dollar pretty much right there. You'd have to log in for 80 days to get a dollar in the game. But the thing is, I do have family members that or unfortunately partake in this game, and one of them is also a Linux user, whether he realizes it or not. I set him up only with Linux because he is pretty young and I don't want him to deal with the headache of malware, but he also has an interest in IT, which I figured would give him a great opportunity to learn about the industry and get some skills under his belt, so that he could get a head start like I did. Unfortunately, he is now unable to play one of his favorite games because of bullshit sneaky decisions this company is unfortunately made in the pursuit for utter greed. Remember that there was nothing broken about this game and wine. This was a deliberate decision. Take of that what you will. I'm out, guys.